Australia is set to enhance trade and investment ties with the ASEAN region, with a special focus on promoting trade and investment in Laos under the Southeast Asia Economic Strategy to 2040. This initiative aims to strengthen economic ties and promote investment opportunities in various sectors. As part of his commitment to bolstering regional economic connections, Australia's Assistant Minister of Trade, Senator Tim Aries, recently visited Lynn Fox, a pr prominent Australian company in Laos, following his participation in the 56th ASEAN Economic Ministers' Meeting in Vientiane. Lynn Fox, a leading provider of regional logistics and supply chain solutions, stands as a key example of Australian business presence in Laos. Senator Aries' presence at the ministerial meeting aimed to advocate for the benefits of the upgraded ASEAN-Australia-New Zealand Free Trade Agreement. Laos's During discussions with our Lao National Television News team and the other media near the first Lao-Thai Friendship Bridge, supported by the Australian government, Senator Aries announced Australia backing for additional investments exceeding ten million US dollars in Laos logistics and transportation systems. Well, well, two things really. Firstly, I want to congratulate Lao PDR on uh, their year of chairing uh, ASEAN and the you know La Laos been at the centre of uh, ASEAN's uh, discussions and progress. It's been a real achievement uh, right across the Laos system uh, to have leaders from all over the world, including at next month's upcoming Leaders Summit, which is going to be a very important event for the Southeast Asian region and for Laos. Secondly, it's this kind of economic uh, investment that Australia wants to lead and to support uh, in Laos. Emphasising the significance of this investment, Senator Aries highlighted how it would leverage the expertise of a top Australian transport and logistics company to bolster Laos' economic development and regional priority. This year, Laos holds the ASEAN Chairmanship under the theme ASEAN Enhancing Connectivity and Resilience, fostering dialogue between ASEAN members and their partners. What it means is good jobs for many hundreds of Laotian drivers who will get top shelf skills and develop uh, safer driving practices uh, and, and build good jobs uh, right, across, uh, right across the provinces where this project is going to be invested in. Uh, secondly, it means that uh, this company, which brings all of its logistics and transport support, will make transport more efficient, uh, driving down costs, improving productivity and efficiency, and, uh, and driving more economic growth right here in Laos. Senator Aries commended Laos for its leadership within ASEAN, noting the country's pivotal role in regional discussions and progress, anticipating the upcoming ASEAN summits in Vientiane. Australia aims to spearhead and support economic investments in Laos that generates employment opportunities for local drivers, providing them with training and practical experience. Through Lynn Fox transport and logistics capabilities, Senator Aries envisions enhanced efficiency within transportation systems to drive economic growth in Laos. Well, it's fantastic to be here to support uh, Lynn Fox's $10 million investment uh, in Laos's uh, uh, transport and logistics centre. This is a really significant investment, bringing one of Australia's leading transport and logistics companies, their expertise and their capability to support Lao PDR's economic development, good jobs and investment here in Laos, uh, really delighted to be here and with a backdrop of the first Lao Thailand Friendship Bridge which really symbolises Australia's depth of commitment over many many decades to supporting Laos's economic development and our people to people relations. So Lin Fox has been in, in Asia for 30 years um, and we've actually been operating already in Laos for over 10 years. Um, so as a, as a company that really values long-term partnerships um, what we have done is take uh, our existing customers from elsewhere around ASEAN and support them as they start to operate their businesses here in Laos. So Lin Fox's decision to, to set up business in Laos has really been around, around our long-term vision. Brendan and also Beng, Ma, the country manager of Lin Fox Laos, highlighted the company's long-standing investment in Asia and Laos, drawn by similarities in resources, richness and agricultural potential between Laos and Australia. Lin Fox's commitment to Laos includes investments in specialized vehicle fleets to support 
the national logistics strategy and facilitate the country's land-linked strategy. So, I mean, in many ways, Laos is similar to Australia. It's a, it's a country that is, is mineral resource rich, um, a very large country, lots of agricultural companies here and, and sparsely populated. So we see operating conditions that are quite similar to Australia. Um, that really uh, we can add value when we, we start to look at specialised fleets and we start to look at some of the systems and uh, technology that we can bring across to Laos. So a part of the reason for us to come across here is to capitalise on those opportunities um, and really as, as Laos goes forward towards its uh, national logistics strategy we see huge opportunities in that land-linked Laos uh, and strategy. For the more, Brandon Bangma said adding Linfos plans to collaborate with Lao businesses and the local Australian business chambers to connect with Australian investors, fostering networking opportunities among ASEAN enterprises, particularly in Laos. The company's international group is poised to make a substantial investment in Laos, focusing on expanding fleet vehicles and implementing advanced technologies to enhance operational excellence and safety standards. In line with his dedication to diversity and inclusion, Lin Fox aims to recruit female truck drivers in Laos, underscoring its commitment to fostering an inclusive and supportive workplace environment. The company's efforts aligns with its mission to provide safe and reliable logistics services while prioritizing innovation and employee well-being. We work together with According to data from the DFAT website, bilateral trade in goods and services between Australia and Laos reached 594 million US dollars in 2022-23, with significant exports and imports in various sectors. Australia's strong trade relationship with ASEAN nations supported by agreements like the ASEAN Australia New Zealand Free Trade Area and RCEP are paving the way for increased collaboration and business opportunities within the ASEAN economic community.